Intel Extreme Tuning Utility XTUV 10.0.0 is feature packed with tuning and overclocking options for Core Ultra 200s CPUs. Intel launched its latest Extreme Tuning Utility XTU 10.0.0.76 which only supports Intel Core Ultra 200 series desktop CPUs. The Intel XTU Extreme Tuning Utility V10.0.0 provides several changes to the software to enhance support for the latest Aerolake Core Ultra 200 S CPUs. Intel revealed its latest Aerolake Core Ultra 200 S desktop CPUs on 10th October unveiling 5 SKUs in the lineup. The official retail launch will start from 24 October and to ensure that the new chips can enjoy better compatibility with its overclocking software, Intel has released a brand new version of the Extreme Tuning Utility V10.0.0. Intel launched two XTU versions, V7.14.24 Intel Raptor Lake Refresh and Mulder processors and V10.0.0 which is solely for the Aerolake chips. The release notes describe several changes in the new software, including the replacement of Intel XTU drivers with the Intel Innovation Platform Framework or IPF. On the other hand, the V7.14.2 for previous gen processors only fixed a few issues. The XTU V10.0.0 will bring Intel IPF for better integration and performance to ensure better tuning. The second point clearly mentions the support for Error Lake only. So, we don't know for sure whether this version will support the next-gen Intel CPUs or not. Nonetheless, we can see that the XTU V10.0.0 adds plenty of new controls and features to enhance overclocking and tuning. So fabric controls dual reference clock controls granular per core ratios maximum voltage per point real-time memory timings controls core parking controls security improvements each of these features offers a different type of optimization for performance uplift. The so fabric controls will enhance the communication between components like RAM and CPU, and the real-time memory timings will help in the adjustment of memory timings dynamically. Maximum voltage support is also provided to adjust the maximum voltage the CPU can use for safer overclocking. One more interesting feature added is the core parking controls which can let user s disable specific cores for different workload requirements. This not only optimizes performance but also reduces power usage. Another change is the separation of per core and active core ratios which will make the per-core ratio tuning independent of the latter. Voltage override controls have also been updated by removing the default voltage option. This will show the actual voltage values even at boot so that users can control the voltage settings more accurately. Last but not least, the OctVB Thermal Velocity Boost, is enabled for the eCourse to improve performance and multi-threaded operations. The new version also comes with several bug fixes and will apply to only Z890 chipset since the Intel XTU requires a platform that supports overclocking. The list of supported operating systems, only 64-bit, is as follows. Windows 10 22H2 Windows 11 21H2 Windows 11 22H2 Windows 11 23H2 Windows 11 24 H2. So for tuners and overclockers who want to have ease of use, the XTU is a nice tool to get.